What's up everybody, this is Carl from Deckable Goodies and I got a fun one for you today. We are taking a look at a microscope, a digital microscope with a screen that hooks up to your computer and it has so many applications. I'm super excited to open this one up and try it out and share it with you all. This is the Joya Lens JL246MS digital microscope. It has a seven inch LCD screen. It's great to use for any sort of soldering projects, any sort of small projects. Any sort of projects where you have something that is too small to see. And, you know, for me, getting a little bit older, my eyesight not being so awesome, this is going to be something that I'm going to be able to use all the time. We'll open this up and try it out, go through a couple practical applications and see how she works. So in the box, which is a pretty big box, uh, you have the manual, setup instructions, the screen that goes with it, different connector cables. And by the way, this is actually going to be a long setup process, which should be a lot of fun, but I'll put the chapters in here if you wanna jump forward to when it's assembled and see how it actually works. A remote control, a small SD card for capturing video. So if I wanna actually capture video on this and then use it, we'll try that out later. More cables, the base station itself, connectors, and that is it. Get this box out of my way, please. All right, let's assess what we've got. So we've got a base here. It's got two small lights that you can bring around to be able to sort of shine on whatever you're working on. It's got two poles here. It's got the screen and a bunch of doodads and bobs. So let's go ahead and see if we can pop this sucker together and give it a try. Step one, screw this into here. Done. Step two, slide this over the top here. Tighten it down. This is basically your arm that holds in the magnifying magnifier and screen and so that's an interesting part about this is that the magnifier is actually right here connected directly to the screen so this is your basically your main um, unit right here everything right here is sort of supporting this main unit and the other good thing to note about this product is that it does have different lenses that you can connect so i'll go ahead and take this lens off because i need to be able to Connect it to the main housing. So you can see that that comes out there. And the main lens receiver is on the inside there. So this just plops down into the unit itself. And there are two screws in the back here that we use to sort of tighten that on. So now that that's connected, I think it, I think it can actually go down a little bit further. So now that that's seated on there, we can go ahead and tighten this up. And then we can put the lens back on. Now I'm going to have to do two things because, let's see if I can adjust this a little bit. Okay, so I zoom my lens out just a little bit to hopefully be able to show you this. Now there are two metal clips that go here, it looks like, to be able to hold the specimens in place. Now it's got two different lenses here. It looks like it's got a object distance of 90 millimeters to 300 millimeter lens. This is like a little bit of a bigger lens. And then it's got the smaller lens here. And each one of these are for different um, practical uses. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is on each one of these is. I'll see if I can take a look. Ah, this one's got an optical uh, object distance of four to five millimeters. So this is a super close up um, where this one is not. This is a pretty involved product right here. Love this. I mean, that's when you when you love tech, you love to be able to spend some time messing around with something, trying it out, seeing if it's any good. And that's the whole point of this channel. All right, so let's take a look at the top here. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus in on this with a little bit of extra light. So here we've got, um, we've got an HDMI port, so you can plug this directly into some sort of HDMI monitor. You have a micro SD slot, so you can record directly to that micro SD card. And it looks like there's another thing here, which I think is a, looks to be a micro USB that might be for power or for a remotely controlling the device itself. And it's got different buttons across the top. One for power, one for menu, one for up, digital zoom in and out, and then okay to start recording. So let's get this bad boy powered up. Now the way they have this set up is that they give you this cable right here. So this has a, a little remote control on it right here for the brightness up and down for the lights. And then the whole thing kind of combines together into a couple of different cables. You have this small cable here 
that plugs into the back of the monitor itself to give power to the monitor. Then you have this little power cable right here, which is like a little bit of a, looks like a little DC adapter, which goes in the back here to give power to the lights. And then we can plug it in to a USB port. So basically USB port on your computer or a USB port on a brick into the wall and we are good to go. Looks like we've got some power. Let's go ahead and give this thing a try. I will, there might be a little bit of LED flashing um, from the camera refresh rate, but let's go ahead and try some different things. So go ahead and put this under here. Now it's not autofocus. There is right here on the side, there is a focusing ring. So we can kind of focus down directly onto the item that we want to show. So I'm going to set this down so I'm not shaking. So we can get right in there and focus up really well. Oh, that looks great. All right, let's try a couple of different things. What do they give us? So it looks like they gave us a couple of slides that we can take a look at, which is awesome. The kids will like that for school. And then I've got a couple of different things that I want to be able to take a look at. One of the things here um, that they also give you is a little light box. You can see that this allows you to basically put a slide in here uh, and light up the light box to be able to show light from underneath. And that way you can actually see direct on the side. So we'll try that in a little bit. So let's go ahead and try a couple things on my desk. How about Mr. Turtle that everyone seems to like? Let's check a look at specifically how well detailed the grain of this turtle is. Oh yeah, that's nice. Woo! getting right down there into the grain. All right, let's try some other stuff. When I use these little ESP8266 boards, I have to plug these breadboard cables into specific spots. And, and I will show you here in a second that it's almost impossible to be able to see what the very specific numbers are. Okay, so let me go ahead and focus in on this. All right, so now I can read it quite well from the screen. This is voltage, this is ground, and then on the other side here, I have to plug it into the, the D4 port. So that's zero, one, two, three, and the D4 port. So then if you look on the other side here, it's got each one of these things. So then I should be able to come in here, figure out which one is the D4 port, and then plug my breadboard into it. Ooh, that's going to be so helpful to be able to zoom in on this stuff and see all the details of these boards if I am working on something like that. Very awesome. Now there's one other thing that I usually have a big problem with is small text on some of these charging blocks. Now, if I've got this sitting here, one of the things that I'm able to do is basically come in here, take a look at this adapter, and now I can see that this adapter is a five volt, two amp, 10 watt adapter. So this is the one that actually came with the kit. So now you know, if I wanted to be able to power it from this, right now I have it plugged into my computer, I could do that and I would know that this is a five volt, two amp, 10 watt adapter. So stuff like that is gonna be awesome too. Normally what I've been having to do is take my phone out, take a picture of it and zoom in to find out specifically exactly what adapter I'm using. I was looking for a three amp adapter the other day, couldn't find it and this would have been super helpful. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of these slides. That'll be interesting. This will be good for my kids in their school. One of the things that they say you need to do is, so right now I've got basically the DC port connected to power up these lights right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the back and then I can use this to power the light box. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the lenses that come with it, okay? Here, I'll show you here. Got lens L that comes with it. That's for circuit boards and stuff that we've been looking at already. You've got the lens A, which has a working distance of 12 millimeters to 320 millimeters. And that's for looking at stuff like coins. Like if you're a coin collector, I have some coins downstairs that I'd like to take a look at. You can use it for that. And then you have lens D here, which is a working distance of four millimeters to five millimeters. This is specifically for looking at um, the sort of slides that they gave us here. So let's go ahead and switch over to that. And that way we can take a look at some of the specimens that they gave us. So again, it's just as easy as taking out these two screws, grabbing the right lens, putting it on, screwing back on the connectors. 
All right, so now you can see that we are focusing really close here. There's the light that, that I hooked up. And then what they suggest is that we go ahead and slide this all the way down as close as possible. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, trying to dial in the focal distance of this. Oh my goodness, look at that. So this is a, oh, this, this is a honeybee worker. I'm sorry, it's so close, there we go. So this is a honeybee worker leg. And these are sort of the slides that they gave us. Wow, this is gonna be incredible for my kids when they do any school projects. If they can record this and zoom in on stuff like that. Wow, that's awesome. Let's look at some of the other ones. Wow, this, let's see if I can focus. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is a cross section of a pine stem. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Oh, I'm gonna lose myself in this video. I'm basically just gonna be staring at this stuff all day. <laughs> this thing is incredible. And the fact that you can hook it up to your computer and record exactly what you're looking at. All right, this is a honeybee wing. Oh, look at that. That is just amazing. Wow, that lens really gets in there. Wow, that's super impressive. Man, I'm loving this Joylens microscope. Again, thanks to them for sending this over and allowing me the opportunity to have something like this to share with you all. But man, this is gonna be a great addition to my arsenal of tech goodies on my desk to be able to help with this channel, to be able to show close up things of what I'm working on and also super useful in every day if I need to take a look, like I said, at small text or small circuit boards. And it doesn't have to be used for just circuit boards or soldering or something like that. It can be used for rock collecting, coin collecting, stamp collecting for inspecting your stamps. If you're a botanist, it can be used for plants to check the health of the plants, precious stones, jewelry. I mean, there's, there's, there's an unlimited amount of things that you can use this for. So having this set up where you can basically hook it up to your computer, hook it up to HDMI, you could hook it up to a giant screen if you wanted to, to be able to look at stuff. You don't have to just use this one right here. So let's say I'm, I'm looking at something, but I'm also presenting to a crowd with a TV behind me, I could have that set up so it's displaying exactly what's coming off of here. So 100% this thing is a winner. I will leave the link down below. Make sure you go check this out. See if it's something that you're interested in. If you like stuff like this, give me a thumbs up, a subscribe. But until next time, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.